Um, we move on to uh, our first trans story of the day, Leo, and everyone's favourite star bucker turns out to be a serial offender. <laughs> yeah, so the Starbucks manager sat for ranting at a woman she accused of transphobia is apparently an outspoken trans activist whose neighbours are terrified of offending by mistakenly saying the wrong thing. So uh, neighbours said uh, Luna, that's the, that's the name of the, the Starbucks... That's a uh, brave name to adopt, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luna, second name, Tick. Yeah. Uh, but she, she or he or whatever you're supposed to say has a partner and they seem a nice enough couple but don't say a lot to Nobody around here has a problem with her sexuality, but people are quite scared of, of offending her if they say the wrong thing. You saw what happened in the Starbucks, and people don't want that happening to them. Sometimes you can get your genders mixed up as it's become quite a complicated world. Let's just say Luna is quite a unique person. Very diplomatically put. There are some photographs of her if you want to have a look in the Daily Mail. I don't think we can get any up, but, I mean, she really does look like an absolute fruitcake. <laughs> 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 I, well, I have to say, every time I read these kind of things, I'm so grateful for all the times my brother and I fought and he knocked it out of me as a yeah. kid. Because you kind of learn a bit of emotional regulation, don't you, I think, as a child? Well, there's a very good book called The Coddling of the American Mind. Do you, do you know that I've book? John, Jonathan Haidt, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Greg Lukianoff. And it's, it's about various factors that have led to the mental health crisis of sort of 18 to 25 year olds. And yeah. that is one of the main ones he says. A lot of middle class kids, in particular now, are only children. I talk about this in my show because I'm an only mm -hmm. child. And, you know, it was always a bit of a prejudice against me growing up, but, you know, those were the days before you were spoiled. But, yes, large yes. families, the more siblings you have, mm. well, I the less likely here, you are to grow up with these ridiculous ideas about yeah. yourself. You know? They mentioned that Luna's house, uh, parents' house, was, was quite a nice house. And I thought, is that a little nod to a privileged background? I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's very easy to make sweeping generalisations, but I'm quite happy to do so. <laughs> 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 Parents, teach your kids right from wrong. <laughs>